Hi friends, today we are going to draw, to paint, a landscape with color pencils. First we begin with a quick sketch. We draw the lines that mark the shapes of uh, mountains and hills, but quick, with no detail at all. Okay, some hills far far away here and now we'll draw here a tree a very simply simple tree as you see there are lines inside the trunk now uh, we all go then we'll erase that lines you see and that's that's it okay we continue drawing branches of the tree Okay, I just see it's a very simple tree, very simil similar to the tree I draw in my first tutorial. Okay, now the leaves, okay, there are lines we, we must clean here and here. Okay, that's all. Now we draw another tree a little farther, farther than the first one. You see, it's a very big tree, and we will erase the lines that we don't need anymore. And another more, one more tree, even farther than the two two other trees we are raised okay and that's all the light comes from here i assume then i make i mark where the shadows are going to be this sketch i'm doing with a simple pencil you see now I raise the sun, this imaginary sun, and clean up all, all my drawing, preparing it to the first layers of color. We'll use regular, regular, normal color pencil. We begin with a blue um, ultramarine blue first layer of the sky and we are leaving empty white spaces that um, resemble the clouds as you see the video is accelerated because this work uh, uh, took me uh, to make a um, two hours and the video uh, only lasts 18 minutes okay with color pencils we are will work by layers always by layers the first ones very soft and without details now the hills the, the farthest hills uh, in blue are blue simple uh, as you see we mark here too okay now we begin with the next next uh, hill is closer to us and we begin with this green Okay, and now we mix with this other blue, darker blue than the one before. And we'll give more interest with a dark green. As you see, you can mix, visually mix the colors of the color pencils, putting them on layers 
one layer over another layer. You can, can't see it, but I am really caressing the paper, not uh, pressing too much with the uh, pencils. Okay, now I'm um, drafting, I'm drawing like rows of trees. I'll make details uh, after I make this, but now this layer is like a background. Okay, now I mark edges, you see, and details. Now, um, shadows. The next, the next. Now you see the grass. I mix colors, you see? Okay. Give I give more detail here. You can use a uh, black black a colored pencil. This is not um, a regular pencil, it's black pencil and you can use it to give some details. Now I'm suggesting the brows of the trees in this far far away forest, you see? The difference uh, from a, from an amateur painting and a professional painting or realistic painting with color pencils is um, we use many many kinds of strokes. You see, I use a different uh, a different directions for uh, the strokes of the pencils you see cross hatchings shadows layers giving more interest to our paintings use as many uh, directions and kind of strokes with your pencils as you can and it will give you uh, your works ever more and more interest as you see, so much close uh, to us is the is what I draw. More detail we can see because everything is closest closer to us. We can see it clearly and with more detail. I begin now with the leaves, suggesting not painting one leaf by one leaf. You see. This trunk and this tree, as it is uh, very near, uh, very to us, very close to us, it will have many details. But the other trees will have less details and be some kind of blurred, blurred, um, because we, because they are farther from us. I suggest now the texture of the trunk, more branches, thinner branches. You see, I use many different ways to take the pencil, the pencils, to achieve more interest in my work. Always remember where the shadows in what what side the shadows must be okay remember where we draw the our imaginary sun and the opposite side 
will be darker ever. Now. Okay, as you'll see when you use color, uh, color pencils, each layer you draw will be uh, mixed with the next layer. As you draw over one layer, your strokes will mix the layer is behind, uh, behind uh, and the under that <laughs> layer. Sorry, my English is not very good. I, I'm trying. Okay, more shadows here, the deep of the leaves. And I, and I mix them with different different layers of colors. Okay, this tree is going well. You can use different kind of colors like this blue and over it yellow and it gives you an interesting green. The yellow is very good to, to give a, a layer to the objects are near to us because uh, yellow is a very warm, warm uh, color and warm colors suggest us the object is closest to us, closer to us. Okay, more shadow here because the light is not getting there. Yes, and now we'll begin with the work of the, to the other uh, tree. As you see, I give less detail than the first one. Layer by layer, I am adding color and hue. This side must be darker. Okay, shadow that the tree gives. Okay, we'll mark more shadow. We need shadows and lights to see the 3D effect in our works. And now the other tree. I begin with a very dark green and cold green, very bluish, to suggest it is very far. Give lights with the green, okay? And now a next layer with to the uh, sky. Now and now I'm really feeling. But again, I can rest the paper. You, you see? Now I'm using a blue, a cobalt blue. But you can continue using the ultramarine blue. Don't mark the edges of the, of the clouds, okay? Only left white spaces. To remark the contrast, I make darker the upper uh, the upper side of the hills. Okay. You can see um, the full time videos of this tutorial. Uh, at my other channel uh, but I'm sorry it is in Spanish and the name of this channel is Arte Vivo y Divertido and this tutorial is set in 
in three parts. They were three very long parts. But I think you can see uh, how it, it is made and how to work with uh, these color pencils now. I'm mixing, okay, as you see, I'll use different colors to give the uh, lights. Another layer giving more detail and more interest to our tree. Okay, mark very uh, the shadows. Okay. Mm -hmm. to give light okay again if you like videos like this one please uh, make your comments and subscribe to the channel I mark now the marks of the of this of the grass. Okay, it's just finished. A little more detail with black. Something, and we are just finishing. What do you think? You like it? Okay. That's fine for me. Okay, that's all. Little more grass because we can see it, it is closest, it is closer. We see its leaves. Okay. I mixed. I give some lights to the grass. And that's all. Do you like it? I hope so. Okay, see you soon.